After opposing a Taliban prisoner swap tooth and nail, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has finally relented. The president has issued a decree for the conditional release of 5,000 Taliban prisoners. Ghani wants certain assurances before he releases thousands of former insurgent fighters. Condition 1. Those released must give a written pledge that they will not return to the battlefield. 2. The prisoners will be released only in batches. 1,500 of them will be released first in batches of 100 per day. The initial release is expected to begin this Saturday. The remaining 3,500 will be released only once the talks begin. 500 prisoners will be released every two weeks until all 3,500 of the remaining prisoners are released. Overriding all of these conditions, of course, is the promise to reduce violence considerably. So what brought about this change in the heart of Ashraf Ghani? Just last week, he had outrightly rejected the idea of releasing Taliban prisoners. It seems like the power struggle in Afghanistan could have forced the president's hand. With Abdullah Abdullah consistently questioning his legitimacy, Ghani is in dire need of international recognition. And there are reports that the United States leveraged its support in exchange for the release of Taliban prisoners. China too has now followed suit and endorsed Ashraf Ghani's government. But even this concession does not seem to be enough for the Taliban. Their spokesman, Sohail Shaheen, rejected any possibility of a conditional release. He said, and I quote, We never agreed to any conditional release of prisoners. If someone claims this, it will be against the peace accord that we signed on the 29th of February. United States Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad welcomed the move and urged the two sides to get together and start the intra-Afghan dialogue. At the same time, Khalilzad made an important admission that violence by Taliban continues to remain high. He urged the group to stick to the peace deal signed in Doha. The United States also scored another diplomatic coup at the United Nations Security Council, where its peace deal with the Taliban was unanimously endorsed as a significant step towards ending the war in Afghanistan. Its regional rivals China and Russia also supported this deal. The ball is now clearly in the Taliban's court. In the last 24 hours, they have carried out 32 attacks in 15 provinces, killing five Afghan security personnel and two civilians. The success of the upcoming talks will depend on whether Taliban will welcome Ghani's decision and whether it can scale back the violence in Afghanistan. Our Afghan correspondent, Mustafa Kazemi, has sent us this report from Kabul. Yes, the Afghan government spokesperson came on the record today saying that so far no Taliban prisoners have been released and the date is set to March 14 to start releasing of the Taliban prisoners as it was agreed on the February 29 deal with the United States and the Taliban in Doha and Qatar. Mr. Sadiq Siddiqui, the spokesperson for President Ashraf Ghani, said that they are also consulting all political figures and in particularly he said they are waiting for two or three political figures to talk to them and then come with a result about starting of a wide and uh, complete talks about how to go with the Taliban prisoners release process. On the other hand, Mr. Siddiqui also said that they are talking with everybody here in Kabul to start resolving the political deadlock that has started since yesterday when uh, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, the rebel to President Ashraf Ghani, also took oath of office just 240 meters on the other side of the presidential palace when President-elect Ashraf Ghani was taking his oath of office and was sworn in to serve a second term of five years.